working or vice versa it could be as simple as that but yes definitely check it out if you've got a PC that is capable of doing so Now, for any viewers that have joined recently or not known what I've been doing or anything like that, I will be putting this live stream, <coughs> excuse me, onto onto YouTube uh, on Front Row Racing DP YouTube channel. So I I don't know whether you'll have the message going across the screen with the details. So I'll change the view on my screen so that it does put the message down there. the details of uh, the front row racing facebook page i mean we mainly we're running uh formula one uh, league that's what we've done on the playstation 3 <coughs> for the last few f1 games we're going to be doing it on uh, f1 2015 as well but our league is currently full at the moment uh, we've got two leagues running uh world championship uh, which is um uh, no assist league and we've got World Series, which is our Assist Allowed League. Those two are full. Um, but we will be doing uh, Friday night races on F1 2015 for any new people that want to join the league. Um, I have got my own YouTube channel from Row Racing DP. My, fee my live streams that I do on here on Project Cars, I will transfer over onto uh, the YouTube channel. But long ones like this one uh, will end up getting split into 15 minute clips. So if you want to know what I have been doing uh, this morning, I started off with looking at the Formula A and how with no assists it's an absolute bitch to handle. Uh, it doesn't like being braked <laughs> and it doesn't like you going down the gears very fast either. <coughs> and I saw someone's video it was shared to me and I watched it and I thought how the hell are you doing that because if I try that the car spins out so I was determined to work out how they were able to do it now if it was in time trial then I don't know how they've done it unless it is with assists on <coughs> excuse me but in free practice I did show how I managed to solve the problem of the horrible uh, second gear. Hello HMA streams. Uh, so yeah, I, found, I worked out a way of solving the second gear issue in the Formula A. So if you want to know about that, you're probably going to have to wait until I finish this live stream and upload it to YouTube. It is the first part of the videos. And I also check it out at three other circuits to confirm that it is right. And for me, it works. I then went trying a few other different cars which handled absolutely horribly just as bad as the Formula A to see whether the same trick worked on those and it does and a simple tip to what it is is elongating first second and third gear it just makes the car so much more stable but do it too long and the car becomes well, it doesn't rev <laughs> it really doesn't rev so there is a fine line between getting it right and getting it wrong but in the formula a it solved the braking it solved being able to go down the gears aggressively and it also gave me shed loads of grip almost as if i had traction control on uh, now i could go back and show people that have recently joined what i'm on about there but i don't really want to since then i've just been <coughs> going and doing a few different things latest being showing the LMP1 how that is the best car on the game as far as I'm concerned by taking it around Nordschleifer so now I'm sat here having a breather thinking what to do next so I tell you what if you're sat there watching and you've got questions about the game you want to see something in the game feel free to whack a message up um, and if I can show you I will try Hello Petland, or Petland HD, I might just call you HD, it's easier. I do find people come up with some very interesting names on Twitch accounts. Excuse me. Now, if nobody does put a comment up of anything they would like to see, I, uh, I'm sure I'll find something to uh, go and have a look at, but I am just having a breather for a moment. 
Uh, so I haven't seen those old Le Mans cars. I'm guessing they're uh, part of the limited edition, um, which frustratingly I haven't got. And the main reason it's frustrating is because there's a number of different classes of cars on the game. Um, I'm trying to think where it'd be easiest to show you. Garage, actually. Um, yeah, there's a number of different classes of cars within the game. But within the classes, there's very different um, abilities of the car. Uh, I mean, there's go-karts. I haven't really done much in those, but there is a couple of mental go-karts in there, or at least one mental go-kart. You've got a 125cc shifter cart, so it's a manual gearbox go-kart. I haven't driven that yet. There's the 250cc super kart. Now, this is a mental-looking thing, and apparently these are real. Look them up on YouTube. Um, I have driven these. Uh, to be honest, it was an absolute bloody handful. <laughs> it was an absolute handful uh, but in my career mode I haven't uh, looked at using the go-karts then got road cars which you got a number of different uh, cars here aerial atom appears to be well in time trial anyway appears to be the the better car um, so you got aerial atom 300 and a 500 the 500 being the more powerful in Audi, your Audi R8 V10, I haven't driven that yet, I mean there's quite a few of these cars I haven't driven. Back Mono, I've driven that on GT, but not on this, that Back Mono is a beast on GT. In BMWs, the, M, uh, the 1 Series M, uh, that should be an alright car but it's not going to break any records. Catrum 7 Classic, interesting little car, and the Catrum Superlight R500, that is a little bit of a little animal that, but it's not going to have much top speed. Okay, what we've got in the Ford, Focus RS, race car, looks good, I haven't driven that either, uh, so I may have to take a few of these for a drive at some point. The Gumper Apollo, that's up there with the aerial atom in time trial if you look at the time trial leaderboards it tends to be in this class it tends to be aerial atoms and gumpets that are up at the top we've got mclaren oh, which one is that mclaren 12c let's see if we can get a better view of it and the mclaren p1 i haven't driven either of these either i really really should i've mainly focused on uh, a lot of the race cars mercedes-benz a45 well don't you look a uh, beauty not really uh, and the SLS AMG now that does look a beast but these types of Mercedes do tend to sound very slow and deep-throated excuse the pun not that really is one there Evo FQ400 you'll know what the FQ stands for especially if you watch Top Gear yes it's fucking quick that is, well, I don't know if that is the actual meaning for it, but it probably is. And if I was there, I, I'd definitely say it was. The Pagani Huayra, very, very fast, but is going to be a bit of a handful. That car, I actually, I do want to take that for a drive. Definitely order the game. If you're thinking about getting this game, but you're not sure, don't even question it. Just get it. If you don't like it, you'll resell it for the same as you buy it, pretty much, guaranteed. Well, not guaranteed, but I reckon you could. It is by far the best racing game um, that I have played for, well, I'd, I'd pretty much say forever. I mean, if you wonder whether this is anything like Drive Club, <sighs> Drive Club, just, just get rid of it, just bin it, it's a waste of time. This is nothing like Drive Club. It's nothing like GT. Okay, we've got the rough CTR3. Now this car, I have been told by a few people that have driven this car that it is an absolute handful, unless they're on about the RGT8. I wouldn't really expect them to be a handful. I mean, the Porsche GT3 Cup car uh, is a beautifully handling car but lacks a bit of uh, top speed so that RGT8 I'd expect to handle quite nicely the CTR3 I would probably expect that to be a little bit more uh, twitchy 
and then we've got this the Lycan now this is a car that when I first drove it around Laguna Seca I couldn't get around any of the bloody corners it was absolutely horrible extremely powerful but you couldn't touch the brakes without locking it up you couldn't touch the throttle without spinning it out you couldn't pretty much do anything I then spent a little bit of time in free practice uh, on one of my videos just doing a very basic setup as if you're new to the game and no bugger all about setting the car up a couple of simple little changes to help you number one was front camber if your car isn't turning in either slow down or adjust your front camber that can help with the turning of the car so i did that and i reduced the brake pressure and that stopped it from locking up those two little changes turned it from an undrivable car into a beautiful car to drive okay next class along you got touring cars bmw m3 e30 old boy interesting car to drive that very tail happy then you got the ford sierra uh, mark one rs 1600 i've only ever driven it in the wet and i would never do it again i've been told it's not too bad in the dry but i'm not really interested in trying then you got the sierra cosworth that is one beast of a car it doesn't particularly like steering and for some reason in that car on a wheel the steering is very very light but it's a very powerful very tail happy car and the quickest of the basic touring car class and then you've got the Renault that's not a Renault you've got the Renault Clio Cup car not very quick but if you're in a lobby with your mates you can have a good nice little tight close race uh, pretty fun little cars to drive now if you get the limited edition version if you are going to buy the game look at getting the limited edition as far as I know on the PlayStation Store it's the same price as if you get the standard edition on a disc get the limited edition if you can get a limited edition disc even better because if you don't like it you can resell it but on the limited edition you do get additional cars one of which is a touring car which kills the rest of them for speed i know that because in my time trial challenge at donnington where i'm trying to top the leaderboards um i can't in the touring cars because i haven't got the limited edition okay and then we've got gt cars you got your Aston Martin hybrid here. <coughs> that one I haven't driven yet. Looks a bit big if you ask me. V12 Vantage GT3. Fantastic sounding car. Nice to drive too. The GT4, again, a fantastic sounding car and also very nice to drive. Audi R8 LMS. Okay, if you've got the Xbox One, have a look at getting the limited edition on the Xbox because uh, I would like to think that you get the um, the same limited edition cars unless Xbox are screwing you over and you're not getting the limited edition stuff because this is on PS4 at the moment. Uh, I have heard stories in the past of you don't get stuff on Xbox that you do get on uh, PS4 but then it's also a little bit vice versa with different games okay BMW's got a 320 turbo now that I haven't driven <laughs> now that looks an interesting that is even older than the other touring car that is uh, <laughs> someone's gonna be mad on the steroids there M3 GT that'll be a nice car to drive I haven't driven it yet the GT4 looks good and the Z4 GT3, that one I have driven, that is a very, very nice handling car. Sounds very nice, but some of these touring cars, you have to be patient with how you drive them. Okay, what we've got in the Fords. Ford Mustang Boss. Very fast in a straight line. A uh, little tricky in the corners, but not a bad car. Mustang Cobra. Well, that looks a bit interesting. Let's see if we can get a different view of that. Well, that just looks like a dragster. <coughs> I will admit I'm seeing that car for the first time. That's one interesting car. And then you've got the Ford Capri. Old beast, this. Not the nicest of cars to drive, to be honest. Um, it's got very long gears, only got four of them, and a bit tricky to drive. I found that a very difficult car to drive. OK, 